Hi guys, this is Kaurav. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a game using MIT App Inventor. In this video, we will create more math game using MIT. We will create this game in 5 minutes. Okay, so first we see the example here. So here you can see that's the app here. You will see reset option, score option. Okay, so you have to click on this uh, mall to increase your score. So I have to click on it. Click on it. Where is it? Okay, see first score. And whenever someone click on 2, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so you can extend this app. Like you can use your timer. You have to, you have to make a score. Uh, at least uh, 20 or 50 in a one minute and you can do a lot of things in this app okay so that's the ba basic app we are going to create so let's see how to do this so here we go we need to click on the start new project and that's my app app okay you will see that's the screen here now i'm going to drag and drop one thing first thing is layout okay and we have to drag and drop vertical arrangement and make this one should be height should be fill parent and width should be fill parent like this now here we need to drag and drop one canvas so you will see here the drawing and animation option we need to drag and drop this canvas here and i'm going to drag and drop here one button okay and second one is one label to display my score okay so for that i'm going to use here another layout okay uh, that one is horizontal arrangement like this and make this fill parent like this and here is one button and that's my score like this okay so i'm going to change this text time to something is score like this and make this one is at least 20 and change this button text to something reset fine now i'm going to click on vertical arrangement and make this one should be hide its fill parent where is fill parent click on canvas and make this one is also fill parent and where is also fill parent like this okay now we are going to change the horizontal arrangement background color and make this one it should be something pink and background color of button you can change and you can make anything like this and make this font bold fine that's your screen here now we have to drag and drop one image split you will see a drawing animation option just drag and drop image split like this now here we need to upload one image so click on image split and you will see picture option click on it and click on upload file click on choose file i already have one image click on this image and click on ok and wait some seconds you will see here that's more here and now we need to take one more timer here you will see a sensor option and drag and drop your clock like this and make this time interval 500 and go to the block now Whenever time will execute, it means clock will execute. It means in every half second, okay? Because we have used here 500, it means every half second, we have to change the location of this uh, location of this image, okay? So what we will do, I'm going to change the location. So click on image split, and you will see here the option of call image split to move. So we have where we have to move, we have to move it randomly. So we will use here maths function, random function click on match and you will see here random option where is it random you will see random integer so drag and drop this and one two i'm going to make it 500 and just copy and paste it like this one to 500 simple now we have to initialize one variable in, uh, global variable and make this name is score and the uh, score is something zero i'm going to copy this and paste this one so initial score is zero now whenever someone click on the image okay whenever someone is touched so we have to increase the score okay so what we will do we need to just click on level one and you will see here set level text okay drag and drop this and we, uh, when we are going to increase the score so whenever someone click on image split one so click on image split and you will see here the touch option okay that one is when someone touch the image split so we have to call set level one dot text should be uh, we will call here match function and you will see the equal option uh, sorry plus option and we have to get the score current score is zero and we have to increase this score from the one okay just try and drop like this fine 
and now we have to set this value in a global variable so set global is code and make this one is level 1.txt click on level 1 and you will see level 1.txt like this that's pretty simple now if you want to reset your score so whenever someone click on the button 1 it means reset button so we have to make this global score should be 0 right global score is 0 like this fine and we have to use one thing more so make this one text box 1 should be like this and delete this one yes and make this zero because we have to reset our reset our score like this simple so here you can see that's the app here you will see reset option score option okay you can make it you can make your mobile vibrate also right so how we can do this so go to the design section Whenever someone uh, uh, someone click on this image, so we have to make our phone vibrate. So what we will do, uh, I'm going to use here one more thing. Go to the user intermedia, and this one is sound. Just try and drop this sound. Go to the block and click on the sound option here. You will see the sound, and you will see here vibrate. Okay. So whenever someone touch the image spirit, so we have to vibrate our mobile for. 100 it means uh, 1 millisecond uh, 100 milliseconds like this thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask me on comment and please subscribe my channel like this video share this video and if you have any doubt you can send me the email also the coding bus at the gmail.com have a nice day be safe bye bye <laughs>